you're done. I'm gonna shoot your ass for Now I want you want to hold Or do you want to hold the food? I want to hold the food. You guys are gonna pay for my microwave. It blew up. Oh, you're smiling. Yo, what the I want to say enormous restraint was shown there. We do not, I have to keep the mantra, we do not believe in violence. We do not believe in violence. You should have got your ass beat. Now, I'm sorry. That's just me. That is my disclaimer. Because again, we don't believe in but you should have got a beat down on the spot, double teamed. Commenters online claim male Karen at the Taco Bell who slapped the Taco Bell employee was mad. Why? Why? The foil from his food wrapper damaged his microwave. Mensa, you're not. User manuals for microwaves warn that microwaving metals in their appliances can cause explosions. Couldn't have happened to a nicer man. Even a microwave doesn't want to perform for you. Mayor, apologize because, you know, we're not, I don't condone violence. I don't want the world to have more violence. But what the hell do you think is should happen? When you reach across the Taco Bell counter and slap somebody for something dumb that you did. I've, I've never seen, I've never seen uh, this level of whiteness on display. Like you're, and you come in there screaming, screaming about a mistake that you made. You blew up your microwave because you put aluminum wrapping in there. The gentleman was so nice. He was like, do you want me to replace it? Yes. He was going to replace it. He was angry that he couldn't make this person angry. He said, and you're smiling. So you're providing customer service to me. You're giving me what I asked for, and you're doing it not looking disgruntled. And I'm mad about it. So I reached across the counter and smacked you. Let me tell you something, America. I am not the toughest man in the world, but yeah. I would have bit all of his fingers off. Yep. I, he, he would not been able to hold a taco when I was done. I'd have wrapped his finger up in the bun, okay? Nowhere in hell are you slapping me over a taco. It's 89 cent, dog. It is not, it is not my problem. You didn't know that you couldn't put aluminum foil in your microwave. This is crazy. This is unbelievable to me. And what, what's more disgusting is you pretend that you are a veteran. I see the bars, uh, the gun bars crossed on the side of his hat. What level, what branch, ain't nowhere in hell you serve anywhere with this level of, of, of attitude about a taco. Mm -hmm. You don't respect other people. You don't respect other people who don't look like you. You are a menace to society. I call for the Antoine Dobson meme. You are so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like that'll never go out of season. It's I need him. Okay. And when you're talking about a counter, okay, you got the counter in between them. It wasn't that long ago we showed you the defendant who got mad hot. When I guess you're upset enough, you jumped over the bench. Like Jordan ain't got nothing on him. LeBron, that would have been me. I'm out of shape, but I assure you, this would not go unanswered. Again, I'll give you the disclaimer. I'm not speaking for TYT. I'm not speaking for Dr. Richie. I know what Dr. Richie would do. So I'll leave him out of this. Because I think he told you which highway. If you bring him something, which highway, he's going to go right back down. He done told you that. I'll give you the last word, Mayor. This is despicable. It makes me very angry. Keep your hands to yourself. I'm telling you right now. You put your hands that on part. These It's the first are, grade lesson. These people are, these are the people that went to work during COVID. Restaurant workers are already mistreated, overworked, and underpaid. And for you to put your hands physically on them, I don't know right now why we aren't amping up like how we treat service workers. The charges should be higher when you act in this behavior. And like, I mean, because I mean, it was, I'm, I'm, I'm a little off. You slap me, I might throw hot grease on you. I don't know what I do. I'm telling you, don't put your hands on me. 
Keep your hands off service workers. These people feed us. These people feed us for, for not enough money while their CEOs are making millions off of their labor. Please stop touching these people. Like the airline, the uh, airline, the flight attendants told you, Mayor, they told all of us, it's getting out of hand, you better get this alcohol off the plane and we're getting assaulted here. Broken nose, tooth knocked out. This is no different. Now we've been to every establishment. We haven't been to Starbucks with Karen's, now Taco Bell. We were at Chipotle, remember? They threw the food at, threw the hot bowl or so. I don't know if it was burrito or what, threw it right back at the worker. Okay, you, you're doing too much. And if somebody, well, you just put it in reverse. You're, we're now to the part where you're about to find out, okay? And you know the first part. You're about to find out. You catch the wrong one. And that might be if you enter Enfield, North Carolina, okay? And the mayor is doing some service and maybe he wants to visit. Maybe it's a Friday and he says, let me join the people for a minute. I'm going to step behind the counter and just greet people. You might get the wrong one. I know what'll happen if you come to Atlanta, boo. So don't keep out of Atlanta with that because you're doing too much. Okay. I don't mean to speak for you, Mayor, but I, they're doing too much.